as you know, weddings in the East have always been distinguished by their splendor and magnificent nature. Today we would like to show you one of these weddings, celebrated in Dushanbe, the capital of Tajikistan. We won't go into the pre-wedding traditions, the viewing, the engagement, etc. Otherwise our video will be very long. We are going to observe exactly the day of the wedding itself. It all usually starts with a morning pilaf for elderly men who are neighbors or relatives of the bride and groom. The morning pilaf is arranged separately in both houses. By the way, there is a separate video about morning pilaf on our channel. So, near lunchtime, the groom gets dressed in his wedding suit. Of course, the bride gets prepped in the morning at the beauty salon, as it's the greatest day of her life. Of course, a hundred years ago, the bride and groom would have dressed for their wedding in traditional clothes, gowns, white dresses and skull cups. But time is not standing still. Today, the vast majority of young people in Central Asia want to look modern on their wedding day. A smartly dressed groom to loud music and accompanied by his friends and relatives walks out of his house. The music is very loud because of the traditional musical instruments Karnai and Surnai. In the East, they are meant for just such occasions. The groom's friends dance and thus show that they are happy for him. Money is usually thrown at the groom, which is eventually collected by the children. After a blessing from the grandmother, finally, the wedding cortege, consisting of expensive business class foreign cars, moves towards the bride's house. As the wedding cortege arrives at the bride's house, they give the signal that the groom has arrived. Loud music plays again to let everyone in the neighborhood know the groom has arrived. The groom puts on his gold embroidered chapan and his grandmother girdles him with a traditional belt, the yakka band. To the whistle and dance of his friends, the groom enters his bride's parental home. The groom and his friends have a separate room with a sumptuous table. He is not allowed to go straight to his chosen one. There is a whole ceremony before he picks her up. At this time, the bride waits for him in another room in the presence of her friends and relatives for the Chimel Dick. Chimel Dick is the traditional curtain where the bride and groom officially become husband and wife. Meanwhile, the groom and his friends are served the traditional dish of Tui Kabob. It is a delicious dish made of meat onions and tomatoes. After the meal, the groom goes to the bride. The bride's pick-up ceremony begins, but it doesn't go quickly. The bride is not immediately given away to the groom. She is hidden behind a curtain. In the east, it was usually the groom who had to redeem the bride, but that's in the past. To make it more fun, 
The bridesmaids offer to ransom the bride with the correct answers to questions concerning the bride or her family. After such an ordeal, the groom is led through the his bride. But the bride in the east must remain modest. Her gaze must be directed downwards. There is a tradition where under the curtain, the groom must step on the bride's foot. In the process, he will be in charge of the family. Of course, the bride can do the same with him, but oriental girls are brought up differently and automatically recognize the man as the head of the family. Then the young couple is presented with a mirror where they have to see their reflection. This is the mirror of their happiness that will be kept in their home. A bowl of honey is then presented to the groom. First, he tastes it himself, then treats the bride to it so that their life together will be as sweet as honey. The bride's friends and relatives, gentlemen friends of the groom are presented with flowers, and the newlyweds slowly move towards the exit of the house. The bridegroom's grandmother place the traditional bridegroom's farewell song on the doera, a Central Asian tambourine. In the courtyard, the bride's father blesses his daughter's marriage and she makes a low bow before him. It is a very emotional moment and as we can see, the bride herself and the other women cannot hold back their tears. And so, the wedding cortege drives away. The newlyweds begin their photo and video shoot. They stroll through the center of town visiting their favorite spots. They have their first wedding dance in the park. In the evening, the engagement ceremony takes place. The bride and groom exchange rings. Everything as in the West. Thus ends the first day of the wedding, celebrated by the young people. The next day, the main celebration takes place in the restaurant. The bride and groom have a separate, luxurious podium. The wedding begins with congratulations and blessings from the parents of the bride and groom. Quiet instrumental music is played first. And the older generation, it is customary for men and women to sit at the table separately. The bride and groom's parents come to each table to thank the guests for honoring them by coming to their children's wedding. Gradually, the rhythm of the music quickens and everyone begins to dance. First, formal dance of husband and wife. The wedding cake is cut.
The party ends and the newlyweds drive to the groom's house. The table is also served there. The groom's grandmother blesses her grandson and daughter-in-law. That's how the wedding went for these young people from Dushanbe. We also wish them prosperity and happy life.